Today, the FDA is warning consumers to not use a dietary supplement marketed to people who have arthritis. The dietary supplement is called Infla 650. And the reason why they're warning people to not use this supplement is because when the FDA did their own laboratory analysis of this product, they found, for instance, it contained acetaminophen, that's Tylenol, that's a problem right there because Tylenol may be found in other products that people with arthritis may be taking and Tylenol in high concentrations can be quite toxic to the liver. Now, but that's like the only reason that they're saying to not use this product because when they did their test, they found a couple other ingredients in this supplement. For example, they found diclofenac and phenylbutazone. What are those? Well, if we look at diclofenac, we may know it better, at least in the United States, as Voltaren, it's another non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And, and then as for the other one, phenylbutazone, again, this is another one of these non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. I bring this up because these non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications may have a blood thinning effect. That's another problem with them. Because And if you're taking blood thinners, that can be an issue. But this one in particular, this phenylbutazone, is not permitted to be used in the United States anymore. It was yanked from the market years ago because it was linked to some serious health problems. The FDA actually mentions that this one actually was discontinued for human in the United States because of potential bone marrow problems. It can interfere um, with, it cause actually toxicity, they're saying, to the bone marrow. Now, I wanna bring this up for another reason as well because this is not the only supplement that's been yanked in, in, by the market and, and alerted to the public about by the FDA. There's an entire database out there that lists a whole bunch of others that you need to be aware of. And here it is on the FDA website. So you go to your search engine of choice, you type in FDA health fraud product database, and it's gonna bring you to this page here where it's going to have a whole bunch of supplements that have red flagged over the years uh, by the FDA. For example, here again, here's Infla 650. But there, there's a lot more to it there. Look, I'm just scrolling down a little bit. You can see some of them. And look at this, page 199. There's a lot of these products over the years that have been red flagged. The good news here is you can search this database by supplements. And so if you're taking a supplement, you can actually put it in here and you can see if it ever red flagged. They'll tell you why it was red flagged. Look at this one. This one here contained Viagra. And you can even link to the actual FDA alert on this. So again, it's a good thing, a good website for you to bookmark and keep for yourself. But again, I would not use this supplement Infla 650, I think the risk outweighs the benefits. So again, it may be sold online, it may be sold in social media, and again, it may even be sold in stores. We're not quite sure yet. So if you're taking this, I wouldn't suggest you continue taking it and absolutely talk to your doctor if you are.